the jazz lick that can be used for country and rock. Hey guys, it's Brad back with another uh, lesson this week. And uh, what I wanted to talk to you about was uh, a friend of mine I work with. Uh, his name's Ben, and he gave me this idea for a video. And he and I talk a lot about music and different things you can do. And, you know, it's it's just really interesting. And the subject came up one night of, hey, I know this jazz lick that I learned from George Benson. And I've heard it used in country. I use it in country. And then I found out through a video I was watching on YouTube, the same lick is an Eddie Van Halen lick, which is pretty cool. So um, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you what I mean today, how you can use the same lick in different styles, and you just learn one lick. What it comes down to is we get trapped in this mode of, hey, I learned this cool rock lick. I can't use it anywhere but rock. Uh, and I'm playing in a country band or vice versa. You know, that kind of happens a lot. But and uh, simply put, this is it. It's a pattern. You're just doing frets four, five and seven on every string. And I'll show you real slow. And of course, you end on the fifth fret. I'll go through it real slow and then I'm going to give you some examples of how I would use this. All right, um, starting on the fourth fret of the fifth string, you just do four, five, seven on the fifth string. Move it down to the fourth string, four, five, seven. Down to the third string, four, five, seven. And the way it ends is on the second string, you just do four, five. Real simple, and I'm using my neck pickup right now because I told you it's a jazz lick. But uh, but yeah, check this out. If you do it in kind of a, a swingy way, then uh, it, it's jazz. And like I said, I got it off the George Benson instructional DVD. One of the few licks I was able to get out of that. It's it's really tough to follow, but um, yeah, you just put kind of a swing. Uh, tempo or you know swing pattern with it uh, doing swing eights on it and, and it's jazz and I, it, it can also be western swing but I'm not going to get into that today Right, as you can see there it's kind of cool it just kind of add that look like I was talking about that swing beat behind it instead of straight you just do um, kind of like one a two like that add a swing beat behind it I'm gonna set something up now show you how I use this in country And that's an example of using it with country. You just go back to those straight, you know, eighth notes or 16th notes, whatever you're doing, and end it up on your favorite lick, you know. And you can do this anywhere. I know I'm teaching something in A again, but uh, it's, you know, you just stick with that same pattern and throw that hybrid picking in. That's all you're doing and putting, adding that pop to it. Same lick. I'll show you back to back here. Jazzy, chicken picking. And uh, next thing I'm going to do, I got to set some other stuff up here, but I'm going to do this uh, as a rock lick also. And uh, there's a little bit more of a triplet feel involved and um, playing triplets over a straight beat. And I'll show you. <laughs> And that 
that's an example of how you can use this as a rock lick. All you do is just throw on your favorite distortion. I'm using the amp distortion I've got here and get that hair bandish kind of sound. And, uh, you know, really, if you got a good way to get that Eddie Van Halen sound, it's, uh, it's great for that. But yeah, all I'm doing on this is the same pattern. I'm just using all the strings and using a triplet fill. And is I'm just using four, five, seven on every string and um, starting with six string this time. So it's four, five, seven, then four, five, seven on the fifth string. Then I start again on the fifth string and go four, five, seven, four, five, seven on the fourth string. Start back again on the fourth string, four, five, seven, four, five, seven on the third string. Start again on the third string, four, five, seven, four, five, seven on the second string. And the way you tie this up is you go four, five, seven on the second string, four, five, seven, five. That's the lick. I'll do it real slow. <laughs> And to descend, you just do the same thing, but seven, five, four, then go to the second string, seven, five, four, then repeat the second string again, seven, five, four, third string, seven, five, four. Same thing again, repeat the third string, then go to the fourth. Now repeat the fourth string again, go into the fifth string. Repeat the fifth string again, go into the sixth string. And resolve on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Slowly. That's it. That's the way you tie up a jazz lick and turn it to country and then turn it to rock. Um, guys, have fun with this. And as always, move it in different places on the neck. You can do it in G here. So if you're if you're starting in G, you really want to start the lick on the second fret instead of the third. Uh, so whatever key you're in, back it off a half step and start the lick. That's how you do it. So um, I'm going to try to post some tabs on this because it is a little bit difficult to wrap your head around it. And um, I hope this helps. As always, like and subscribe. See you next time.